Okay, everybody ready? Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Virginia City Council Chambers. This is a special Committee of the Whole meeting. Call this meeting to order. Today's date is Monday, November 28th, 2022. The time is 9 a.m. We have five items on the agenda today, uh, all related to personnel matters. Uh, there are, as an indication, we may have to go into closed session uh, for a moment, for a time. But uh, we'll turn the agenda over to our city administrator, Britt C. Bennis. Britt. Thank you. The first item on the agenda is a recommendation from the interview committee for the deputy fire chief. And, of course, at this meeting, it's a special meeting. We can take uh, action uh, and vote uh, for uh, uh, on any of these items uh, based on recommendations from the council. So uh, the interview committee, uh, do you have any uh, information that you want to disseminate? Any uh, further uh, Comments about the the, uh, the uh, recommendation uh, uh, for the new fire chief, uh, uh, deputy fire chief, Councilor Johnson. Thank you, Mayor. Um, all three candidates were extremely highly qualified, um, and the committee is confident that as as backfill happens, people will take new roles, and we will continue to have an excellent fire service and. Uh, with that being said, I will um, make a motion to um, hire Eric Jonason as the full-time deputy fire chief. A motion by uh, Councilor Johnson, who served on the uh, interview committee, making the recommendation by a motion to appoint uh, the, uh, the deputy fire chief tradition to uh, Mr. Jonason, Eric Jonason. Is there support? Support. A support by Councilor a free leave. So it has been moved and supported to uh, offer the position of deputy chief to Eric Jonason. Is there any further discussion? Uh, Councilor uh, Biondich. Thank you. Um, sitting on this committee, it was very difficult. Um, we did talk about it quite a bit, but I think we all agreed on um, the same person for the candidate for the deputy fire chief. Thank you. Uh, yes, thank you, Councilor Biondich. Uh, so it has been moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Hearing seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations to Eric Jonason and uh, the other two applicants for the Deputy Fire Chief position. So uh, we welcome on board. Chief is here in the background. Everything's good. Okay, thank you. Anything you'd like to offer before we move on to the next item on the agenda? Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Britt? Thank you. The next item on the agenda is discuss the one-year appointment to the Range Area Municipalities and Schools, or RAMS, Board of Directors for the term ending 12-31-23. And as we all know, uh, uh, well, I'll just hold my uh, comments in abeyance. Councillor Baraboo. Yeah, uh, being that I am the outgoing uh, RAMS representative, uh, since I was not re-elected for the upcoming, that means we need to appoint somebody new here. And I would like to make a motion right off the bat uh, to uh, recommend that we appoint my alternate that has been there at, at a number of the meetings, uh, Mr. Gary Friedlieb, to uh, replace me in that uh, position as a full-time RAMS representative from the city of Virginia. Thank you. Support. Uh, moved by Councillor Baraboo, supported by Councillor Johnson, uh, to appoint uh, Councillor Friedlieb as the... Uh, Council representative on the Range Association of Municipality School, RAMS. Is there a, any other discussion? Hearing and seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And now we're looking for an alternate. Alternate, that's correct. And that is why why open. I'll let the council decide on, on that. I'm not going to recommend anybody for that position except to the council. Okay, uh, I know this, we're all busy. We all have you know, a lot of committees and commissions. We sit on, some of us are still gainfully and fully employed and uh, have families they have to deal with. So uh, it just as in the ARDC appointment, uh, that's only once every couple months or so, I wouldn't have a problem serving as the alternate uh, on behalf of, of RAMS for uh, Councilor Freedom, unless there's another volunteer they would like to serve. So moved. 
Uh, moved by Councillor Johnson in a, in a hurry. Is there support? Support. A support by Councillor Paulson. Is there any further discussion? Just one, one thing. Uh, just uh, Please if, do. If uh, members of the council don't know, they meet every fourth uh, Thursday of the uh, uh, month, and they meet from uh, 6 o'clock at night until whenever they're done. There is finance, if you belong to the finance committee, which I did. That meets at 5.30 uh, to go over all the finances for Rams each month. So that's the time schedule. And then they have some special meetings also. The mayor knows about those. So Sure. Okay. Well, thank you, uh, Councillor Baraboo. So it has been moved and supported to appoint Larry Cuffey, the um, alternate for the Rams uh, uh, Board of Directors, term ending 12-31-2023. Is there any further discussion? Uh, hearing and seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Can I vote for myself? <laughs> <laughs> or I vote against myself? Uh, all those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the next item on the agenda is just a discussion I want to have with the council regarding the community development planner position. We had, had conducted interviews. The person that we offered the job to um, had, did turn it down. So I, I just need some direction. Do you want me to continue just trying to seek um, any the way that it is? Do you want me to change it? We had a, There was preliminary discussion about May looking at putting the job into their union rather than ask me. So before I go farther and re, trying to repost this, I just want to make sure that we all are um, looking at the same thing. I did print off some current job postings, and we're right in line with what a lot of other cities are paying. Um, some, of course, are higher. Some are closer or lower. But we're right in the middle what we're offering. Yeah, uh, thank you, Britt. So uh, I'll just make a quick comment, then we'll go around the room. I've uh, always thought that, <coughs> my thoughts that this, uh, when we went back and forth, I would like to see this being a May position because it's it's a direct report to our city administrator. There's no buffer in between. But this is my personal opinion moving forward. I think we should post for another community development planner, but we should decide uh, in, in which direction we want to go in that regard. So those are my comments. Councillor Paulson. Thank you. I just wanted to ask of the candidates, um, how many candidates were there that were interviewed? And I'm sorry, Britt. <laughs> We received five applications and three candidates were interviewed. Three candidates interviewed? Yes. Okay. And then um, of the other, I would say two then, were their were there qualifications acceptable? Yes. But the we did two we did conduct two rounds of interviews. Um, and it, one one would dropped off the first round. So the second round was two candidates. And it just didn't seem like there was a personality fit or a goal. That our goals were not the same. Okay, so you're recommending though is then to, to repost. repost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I also would agree with you, Mayor. I feel like this is more suitable for a mate position. Um, they do. This position does have a an assistant. Is that or? Correct, correct. So the administrative assistant. I feel like that kind of leads it into a supervisory type situation. Um, that's just my thoughts. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Councillor Paulson. Uh, anybody else over on my left side? Uh, first, uh, Councillor Baraboo. Yeah, I had brought up when I originally started this process that I thought it was a, a position that should belong to MAPE also. Uh, so I'm still under that auspice as if we have a candidate that might be interested in going that direction. And if we have the qualifications, Brett, that would uh, be suitable uh, for that individual uh, to be in that. And I think it is from what I can read into the position. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Councillor Freely, did you have something? Yeah, I would concur, you know, based on the minimum, minimum qualifications being a bachelor's degree and or a master's degree. I think conducive to the type of position that we're looking for or the person we're looking for. Um, we did have essentially the perfect person in place that came back to his hometown. What a loss that was. But to look to somebody that uh, would be able to invest themselves in the city as John had done, uh, our goal for sure. So yeah, I would be certainly favorable towards uh, considering this a mate position that would join the administrative team uh, as opposed to an AFSCME position. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Councillor Freely. Uh, Councillor Johnson. So do we then... <clears throat> 
need to revisit the job description so that it more accurately reflects that supervisory, potential supervisory task that we're looking for. I, I will move then to direct staff to um, revisit and revise this job description to more accurately reflect the needs of the administration and bring it back for approval. Okay, uh, thank you, Councillor Johnson. Moved by Councillor Johnson, is there support? Support, support by Councillor Biondich. Is there any further discussion? Uh, of course, we're just discussing the department position uh, moving forward, so we hope uh, information that that's gleaned or direction from us to staff will be brought back for our, our approval and review. Councillor Paulson. Thank you, Mayor. Two quick thoughts. Um, by moving this or as we move forward with, you know, staff bringing um, the job description into alignment with MAPE, um, my one question that I had on that specific is would that in increase in the salary if we move it into MAPE? Would that fall into a... I guess a revisit of the the salary the salary would be seventy five thousand six hundred and fifty dollars annually, but then we'd have to go on to the matrix. Is that correct? And so then you would kind of come back to us with that. Yeah, if it changes so drastically, we feel that it needs an adjustment in wage. We would come back with that recommendation too. Um, a lot of it, if you recall, with the lead recreation assistance was the. The action words we need to put in there, the directs, supervises, delegates, yep. those kind of things. And so then would it need to change from the develop, community development planner to more of a, like in here, there's coordinator, director, maybe one of those. That would so, probably be more appropriate. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm sure you'll work on that. The other thought that I had, and, and I don't want to open up a can of worms, but um, if we cannot find any candidates, would this be something that could be considered um, for an independent for a contract base basis? Um, I, not that I necessarily want to do that, but if we can't, I know this position is sorely needed, and um, there's a lot going on right now. So, when you bring that back, how, what's our time frame in terms of trying to get this out there and and interview? Relatively soon. I'd really like to get it done very quickly. Okay. Yeah, and posted before Christmas if possible. Okay. So a couple of weeks to okay. get this done. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you, Councillor Paulson. So it has been moved and supported uh, to direct staff to adjust the job description and maybe uh, um, come up with some recommendations about uh, uh, the bargaining unit for which uh, this position will come forward with and come back to this council with uh, their recommendations, some additional information for us to review and give final approval for. So it has been moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Uh, Councilor Baraboo. Uh, just, Britt, uh, can we get this revision and job description by the first council meeting in December, which is you know, more than two weeks from now? Okay. okay uh, thank you, uh, Councilor Baraboo. So it has been moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Uh, hearing and seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. And the next item on the agenda is a closed session for preliminary consideration of allegations against an individual subject to the council authority under Minnesota Statute 13D05, Subdivision 3. Okay. Uh, uh, looking for council action to move into closed session regarding item 4 on the agenda. So moved. Motion by Councilor Biondich, supported by... Councilor Baraboo, any further discussion? Hearing and seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We now enter into closed session.